utilization. Okay, first and foremost, we need to have a nebulizer machine. The brand name is Philips Respironics. This is a portable, lightweight, and handy nebulizer machine. You can carry this tool anywhere on the go because it's very comfortable to handle. You see, it's so lightweight, probably around uh, 4 to 500 grams only. This is the bottom nut. This one, push and then lift that one. Okay. Then inside is the charger. Charger. Built in charger because uh, it will not uh, operate when it's not charged. So this is a built in. You cannot remove this one. You cannot remove this. Already in place there. There's no way to remove this one, otherwise, it won't work. Okay, and these are the parts of the nebulizer. This is the power. Okay. Power switch on and off, just up and down button. Down if it's power on. The nozzle for the connector of the uh, nebulizer mask. Okay, that should be the air the air will flow through this here okay. and this is the inner bottom of the nebulizer machine see how deep around four inches deep four to five inches deep so this is how deep it is and this is how wide it is you can keep your the device mask and the charger and even the medicines inside. Keep it ready. Okay? So this is our nebulizer machine. Okay? I've been using this for about uh, years already, but still working. Okay? And then we need the nebulization. Of course, you need. Some of these uh, things that you need for nebulization. First, you, have, you need to have this nebulizer mask. Okay? Make sure the chargers are intact to avoid accident. Always ensure safety because remember, this is a electrical device. Make sure the connecting tubes are intact, not worn out, because uh, if there is a uh, leakage along the tubes, it affects the airflow. Now you need to have a syringe with the needle to measure the correct amount of medicines required according to the prescription. Now open your normal saline container and measure. 2.5 cc of normal saline now put your saline inside the bottle You can keep aside your syringe and needle. You can use it next time. Next, we add our medicine. But of course, you can't have this medicine without the doctor's prescription. The required dose is 500 microgram, and the stock that we have is 250 microgram per ampoule. So I need to have two ampoules to make it 500 micrograms now add your two ampoule of medicine inside the container 
along with the saline. By the way, the medicine that I use is Atrovent. Now, shake it a little bit and a little bit more. The medicine is ready. Now, you can attach your accessories, the tubing, and the mask. Make sure you have the right size of mask. If the patient is adult, then you use the mask for adult. If the patient is a child, you have to use the pediatric size. Now we have our nebulization kit ready for use. Now connect your charger to the electricity, but make sure the power is still off. Now, connect your other end of tubing to the nozzle, air nozzle. Make it sure that it won't slip off when the power is on. Then, put your mask on your patient's face. Make sure the garter is not too tight, not too loose. Now the mask should fit like this onto the face. Then power switch on when it's producing a smoke then you're good so that's it and just wait a minute I hope you like this video hit like if you like hit dislike if you don't like thank you for watching and please subscribe